Right now we are going to set up probably the coolest feature of Aspen and that is the autoplay video banner background. Okay, so here we have a uh, just a fresh page ready to go um, that I set up in Aspen in Rap Weaver 8. Um, the first thing we're going to do, we have to add our video. So let's go to format. I'm sorry, not format. Let's go to view and then show site resources. And right now I have no resources added. But in here I'm going to drag and drop my MP4 video over to Aspen. This is going to add it to the project file, not the theme. Uh, every project can have different videos, of course. Um, but real quick, one thing I want to touch upon real quick while we're talking about this whole video thing. This is an MP4. You want to make sure that your format is an MP4 because that is the uh, best compression uh, to use for video. And compression is super, super important um, for adding a uh, autoplay video background. You want to have a video that is short and highly compressed. Um, this is because during page load, um, it, because this is in the banner, you want something that will load fairly quickly. Uh, if you have a video that is like much over, you know, six megabytes, it's it's going to take a long time for your, for your video to load and appear. And uh, meanwhile, uh, it's just not pleasant for the person, the visitors, to be waiting a long time for this really long video to play, which isn't too essential anyway to the overall site. Um, the autoplay background should not be used for essential videos. It should be used more as a complementary thing for a feel to the page, but should not be used for demonstrating something with audio or something super important about the page. Um, because depending on the, uh, the banner and the device type, uh, some of the video will be cropped as well. So this is for decoration. It's not for communicating, um, you know, showing off exactly what you want in a video. It's not for that. Uh, so all that said, I would try to keep your videos between 5 and 10 megabytes at the very most, um, but you want them just short and really small file sizes. And MP4 is uh, the file format that offers the most in comp compression. And if you have a video and you're looking for a good compressor, um, I do recommend Handbrake. Uh, if you uh, Google search Handbrake for Mac, you can find that, and uh, Handbrake is uh, what I've used for the uh, Aspen demo site uh, autoplay videos. And I've compared uh, three different uh, video uh, editors, and Handbrake seems to do the best job, even though it's free, oddly enough. So uh, I do recommend that one a lot. Okay, so now that we have our video added here, I'm going to uh, close this one, or close out the uh, resource panel. And then I'm going to add the snippet uh, for the autoplay video. I've copied it and I'm now going to go to the page inspector general settings and at the bottom we have override default settings. I'm going to enable the slogan. Now there is no slogan in Aspen. It's nowhere to be found on the page. The slogan is only used for the autoplay video code input and that's it. So I'm going to right now put in the uh, code for the video background. Now it's turned black. Turned black because we added the video code, but there is no source right now. Uh, so right now it's saying uh, resource, and it's we have these two kind of uh, bubble brackets. Uh, I'm now going to add the title of my video that I added to the resources. I'm going to copy and paste it in there. And now we have it. And that's it. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, so I didn't do too much. I just uh, copy and pasted the uh, resource video tag in here. And then I added in the resources uh, resource area in the brackets, I added the actual name, it, which is case sensitive. I added the actual name of that resource video that was added. And really, that was it. And if we disable that, it goes back to the banner. So pretty easy to set up. And that concludes the tutorial for this video.